Do the Lakers close it out tonight, and does LeBron win MVP? Well, Jimmy shouldn't feel any pressure, Skip, because there was expectation. There was no expectation of them to win that series. So they should have come in relaxed, as relaxed can possibly be, because outside of maybe the Heat fans and that organization, none of the none, no one really predicted them to win this series. So there was no pressure on that team. The underdog really rarely has any pressure, which they, they were a decided underdog. But I do, to, to answer Alex's question, yes, I believe they finish it off tonight, and I do believe LeBron wins the finals MVP. I believe with his game four performance, and especially his second half, I think he's nudged ahead. Now, does that mean that Ant AD can't put up a monster performance skip? We know he's more than capable. We've seen what he's capable of doing. Not only can he give you a 35-15 type ball game, but he can be lights out on the defensive end, in which would now all of a sudden put him back. And especially, and the reason why it's so close, Skip, is because of the job that he did on Jimmy Butler. He says, I want him. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, Jimmy Butler got up to that hot start, had 11 points. And then, as you mentioned, the last three quarters, he had 11 points in total. And Anthony Davis made sure that's all you're going to get tonight. The days of that 40-point historic triple-double, Jimmy, that's not happening on my watch. Mm. And so I think there's a, there's a, yeah, there's a chance that if Anthony Davis goes Anthony Davis and he's more than capable of doing that, sure, he can win finals MVP. But I believe it's LeBron James' MVP to finals MVP to lose. And I do believe they close it out. They've been down there. I'm sure uh, LeBron probably sent them a message. We've been down here long enough. Mm. Think that was the message? No, I'm just Maybe saying. Maybe you, you're on the group chat. No, no. But no? We've been down here long. No, he probably said, look, LeBron James says well, when he faces a team that's desperate, they know it's a closeout situation, he's as desperate as they is. He made it abundantly clear, Skip, when he played the Rockets, when he played the, uh, uh, the Nuggets. He says the reason why I'm able, normally able to close out, it doesn't always work out, is that I put myself in a situation where I'm just as desperate as they are. Mm. I believe he'll send out a I don't know what the text will say, but he's brought probably says, look, we need to be as desperate as they are. Mm. They're coming in with nothing to lose. We need to try to. We need to make sure we suppress that surge early, and play the type of basketball that I know we're capable of playing. I believe the series end tonight. I believe LeBron James will have a LeBron James type game, somewhere between 26 and 30 points. He'll have double digit rebounds. I don't know if he gets the double digit assists, but you know what? I'm gonna say. Why have, not? Skip. I'm gonna say he has a triple double tonight. I believe the shots that they missed earlier in the game, Skip that would have given him triple doubles. You remember he stuck. He was stuck at nine for a couple of games. I believe they make those shots. I believe, I'm going to say his, his stat line, I'm going to say 29, 12, and 11. Really? Yeah. Only 29? 29, uh, yeah. Okay, and what do you figure AD winds up? I think AD is going to have something around 33. More points? 33. 30, I'm going to say 33, 10, and, and, and two blocks. Okay. Three blocks. And that will be enough to win MVP for LeBron. Yeah. Okay. Because really, truly, the only competition left in this series is LeBron <laughs> versus AD. Who, who, is, for MVP. who is MVP? That's all that's left. That's all that anybody really cares about, right. including me. And that will be high drama tonight between those two. Your your two guys, your goat, quote unquote, and your baby goat. Yeah. One on one for MVP. So you give Miami no chance tonight. I give them no chance. What what's your score? By what? Just give me a by what? I'm going to say 12. By 12? 12. Huh. Double digit. I got your Lakers by 20. I think this will be a cakewalk. 20? I think it will be a victory parade from start to finish because I think the Miami Heat are as tired of the bubble as the Lakers are. I think they're ready to go home. They made their run. They stole their one game with a magical performance from their leader, Jimmy Butler, who had the greatest triple-double in the history of the finals, a 40-point triple-double without even taking a three-point shot. It was awesome to watch. It, it was awe-inspiring. And I sat back and said, okay, if you can do that again, I'll give you a shot. The turning point came before that game when Anthony Davis announced to the team, I am taking him. Mm -hmm. He told Bron, I am taking him. And I don't think LeBron argued because LeBron is a shrewd operator. And I think he believed that could help him win on two fronts, on the scoreboard front and on the MVP front. Because if AD sacrifices his, his energy all for the defensive end for the whole game for four quarters where his whole focus is on controlling Jimmy Butler, which he did, mm -hmm. then how is he going to focus on the offensive end? His numbers were obviously down in game four. Right. Because it's just too much. His numbers were down in game three because well, he, he got in foul trouble. trouble. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So the point is, 
that this is perfect for LeBron. It's the perfect strategy because it's a winning strategy on the scoreboard and in the MVP race. But Skip, when, Le when LeBron said the last five minutes of the game, I got Jamal Murray. When you see LeBron James take some Le Le uh, Jamal Murray did then. late in the second half. Okay. Nobody said anything about he was trying to sac he was sacrificing his offense no. for defense. He's trying to win the game. Okay, but the, the the finals MVP wasn't on the line just yet, right? There's no MVP on the line. I think the most important thing to AD, he realized if I because who's to say they're not going to be back next year? Nobody. Okay, but the Clippers are going to be back also. No, no, not with a new coach. They're not going to be whole though. Yeah, Paul George is up out of there. Huh? Do you think so? Yeah. They're going to trade. Up out, they're, they're going to trade him? They're going to trade him. Okay. Well, we'll see how that plays out. I don't know that. So, the point is, the issue at hand is MVP. Right now, LeBron is averaging 28 a game to AD's 26. Mm -hmm. But AD has made all 17 of his free throws in this series. Mm -hmm. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. That's obviously 100% from the yeah. free throw line. AD has actually made 55% of his three-point attempts. That's mm -hmm. six out of 11. Not high volume, right. but still, he's made six out of 11. Right. That's pretty great, That's, right? Yeah. On plus minus, Anthony Davis is a plus 24 in this series to LeBron's plus 11. And in, in the pivotal game four the other night, mm -hmm. AD was plus 17 and LeBron was minus two, okay? Mm -hmm. And if j just for perspective, over the last two games, just for everybody's edification, LeBron James has turned it over 14 times in two games. Mm -hmm. Is that good? No. No. That's but, you do good. but you do realize, Skip, in the fourth quarter of the series, and that's four games, LeBron has four total, total, four total turnovers mm. in four games. Is okay. that good? Uh, okay. That's pretty good for yeah, that, him. But the point is that in the four games of this series, he's 0 for 9 from 3 in the fourth quarters. Yeah. Okay. He's 13 of 18 9. from the from the field. For huh. Okay, 0 for 4. 9. Mm -hmm. And by the way, little known fact, if we go back three series, if we take the Heat and then the Nuggets oh, and, and then the Rockets, if we do the fourth quarters of those three series combined, LeBron James from the three-point line is 2 for 23. Just for perspective, 2 mm -hmm. for 20. Is that good? Right. That's, what, 9%? So, 2 so, for 23. So are we going to do the fourth quarter? So mm -hmm. are we going to talk about the fourth quarter in the game five against Denver? Mm. Are we going to talk about the fourth quarter in game five against Houston? Are we going to talk about the fourth quarter in game five against Portland? Are you going to, are we going to talk, are we going to discuss anything or are we just going to take the negativity? Or what about those dominant performances in the fourth quarter? Because mm. that was a part of that too also, right? Well, nobody's talking about two of 23 in all those fourth quarters. But in all those wow. fourth quarters, what about what he did? The 38, 16, and 12 against Denver. Mm. That performance that he had against Houston in the fourth quarter. That performance that he had against Portland. Those mm. happen. Yep. So while you sprinkling all those little numbers in there, give the totality. We they're, do they're context. They're little. They're big. Okay, do context. Mm. Well, to your point. I believe that, as Kevin Durant calls them, the media fanboys who will be voting on this award tonight, mm -hmm. I believe it's a done deal. It's a runaway. LeBron will win runaway. the MVP. I don't think. I think he's already won the MVP, even if he gets outplayed by AD tonight. I don't even think Even so. though the strategic move here, the one that changed the series, was AD announcing to the team, I got him. Yeah. I'll take Jimmy Butler. But why did AD say Bron, I got him. What did AD say after that? See, you keep using about AD say I got him. But what did AD also say after that? Why did he say I want him? Why did he say Bron, you take him? What did AD say, Skip? You tell him. You no, no, no. I want you. I want to hear you say it because it has more. I don't remember the you. quote. It was something you, about you got so much on your plate or yeah, something. Yeah, we ask like you that. to get in the lane. We yeah. ask you to uh, shoot the ball. We mm -hmm. ask you to run the offense. We ask you to do fillers, facilitate. We ask you to do so much. LeBron has enough on his plate. That's what he said. So the guy who often plays center for the Los Angeles Lakers said, I'll take the guy who's 6'7", who plays a lot on the perimeter. And then what I'll did, take him. And what did Braun do? Braun said, well, I'll take Bam. Mm. He said, well, I'll take Bam. He's bigger than Bam. So in other words, you're taking your point guard, and he's guarding your, he's guarding your five man. Mm. That's what my guy did. That's because he's also 6'9", and he outweighs Bam, and he's stronger than Bam, and probably a little quicker than Bam. That, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Mm. Just get a man his credit, Skip. And he's still running the offense mm. at an extremely high level. Mm. In the fourth quarter, 11 points, five rebounds, two assists. Mm. Well, I want to congratulate you. You were right. You got every break. It was the easiest then, path then, to then, a then, ring there you go. that there's ever been. Skip, that's not what you said. That's not what you said at first. Asterisk, no Clippers. The, the, the. Asterisk, no Clippers. What, what the Clippers? That's all you need to know. What were the Clippers? I don't know. You do know. Yeah. Skip, you told me at the beginning of the season 
You say if the king, if your foe king were to win a ring, this would be his most difficult because he's in the West and the Clippers are coming. I did Ooh, not. Watch. You know what? I failed to predict the pandemic. <laughs> I failed to predict that he was going to get five months off to regroup and revitalize for a playoff run. Yeah. Had no idea. But hold on. How would a guy that's in the pandemic be the most mentally weak superstar that you've seen in your 40 mm -hmm. years of covering the basketball. Yep. How can he do that when Kawhi is a cyborg, the strongest mentally? He's Jordan. He's the closest thing to Jordan we've seen. Mm, that would be Kobe. No, no, that's not what you're saying. Oh, the mid-range Jordan. Oh, Jordan, he's a mid-range. The most mentally tough guy. Mm -hmm. Kawhi folded like a house of cards. Did he? Because he was thinking ahead to what he was going to do to your man. Skip. No, Kawhi. Skip. How if I'm in a fight mm -hmm. saying, well, if I fight that guy down the street, I'm going to tear his butt up, but I'm getting shellacked in the fight that I'm in. Jamal Murray cooking you. Mm. Ja you remember, hold on, Skip. You remember that in the play-in game? The Clippers and, the, and, and, and who LeBron take off the rip? Mm. Kawhi. Mm. And then he hit the bucket that, win, that would win the game and then deed up Paul George and Kawhi. He did. He did that. That was not a playoff game. It was and then, not a play. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. So what about Jamal Murray? Who is Jamal, was Jamal Murray any good? Jamal mm -hmm. Murray was, was playing as good. Jamal Murray in the playoffs was a top, top three or four player. Mm -hmm. I believe Anthony Davis and uh, uh, Braun win one, two. Yep. But he's been he's the he was the third best player. Him and Yo. Mm -hmm. And what Braun do? Congratulations. You won. Mm -mm. That's all that matters. I got something for you though. Yeah. I got a little fries. I'm for sure you, you got lots. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.